Welcome to the video lecture series of Engineering Mechanics. I am Sajan, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, FISAT, Angamali, Kerala. In this session, we will discuss about force of friction, which is second module of Engineering Mechanics in the KTU syllabus. Let us see some of the examples for a force of friction. We can hold this pen because of the friction between the pen and our fingers. We can walk over a floor because of the frictional force between our foot and the floor. We can transfer power from one pulley to another pulley by means of a belt because of the frictional force between pulley and the belt. These are some of the advantages of force of friction. In the case of engine parts, we need smooth movement or functioning of the components of engine. Here, in order to reduce the frictional force between the engine components, we will introduce lubricants. So here, the force of friction or simply friction is disadvantage for the smooth functioning of the components. So come to the point. Let us define friction or frictional force. Whenever a body moves or tends to move over another body, a force opposite the direction in which the body moves or tends to move is developed at the contact surface. This force is called frictional force or simply friction. Here is a body kept on a horizontal plane. The weight of the body mg or w will act vertically downward always and here is a normal reaction which is always perpendicular to the contact surface then and if we are applying a force parallel to the surface suppose if it is towards the right the tendency to move the body or motion of the body will be towards right at that time at the contact point of the body and the surface, there will be a force will develop in the opposite side to the tendency to move or motion of the body. That force is called frictional force. So, the main reason for the friction or frictional force is roughness, roughness of the surface. Then, let us see the types of friction. First one is static friction. As the name indicates, the static friction is the frictional force occurring when the object is in static condition or in rust. The second one is in dynamic friction. Definitely, when the body is in moving condition, uh, the frictional force occurring is called dynamic friction. So, there are two types, sliding friction and rolling friction. If the body is sliding over a flat surface, it is called sliding friction. And if the body is moving with, a, with the help of a rollers, we can call it as rolling friction. The third one is fluid friction. Definitely, the friction occurring in the fluid is called frictional force, that is viscosity. These are the definitions. Uh, we already discussed so static friction dynamic friction sliding friction rolling friction fluid friction etc then uh, next one is limiting friction limiting friction is the maximum frictional force that can be developed at the contact surface when the body is just on the point of moving on the point of moving means impending condition just starts to move condition at that time, the maximum frictional force will occur at the contact surface. That frictional force is called limiting friction. That means, when I have a horizontal surface of body, I have a right leg force apply. So that this body has a tendency to move towards right. I have a force apply. That move is not a tendency. It is not a move. So gradually, I am increasing the force applied so certain point at the bottom of the, the body will move towards right a point just starts to move or impending condition a samayath surface il create cheyina friction nu parayna peyrana limiting friction so nammala parnadhu pole the 
force applied is through the center of gravity of the block parallel to the surface of the contact. If we are applying P, the force P towards right, uh, the frictional force will be opposite to the uh, tendency to move or motion. Please note, uh, frictional force, uh, applied force in against Allah, tendency to move or motion. It is against the frictional force. That is the frictional force. Okay. So, frictional force F become equal to P in magnitude and opposite to the direction of P. Now, the limiting friction is the same. The force is applied to the force. That is the frictional force. That is one another point to note related to the limiting force of friction. The next is a coefficient of friction. It is a ratio of limiting force of friction to the normal reaction. Our limiting friction and the normal reaction. This is the ratio of the coefficient of friction. And next is the angle of friction. It is defined as the angle between the normal reaction and the resultant of limiting friction and normal reaction and it is denoted by phi. So here you can see that the applied force P towards right so that tendency to move the body will be towards right. So the frictional force or limiting friction will be towards left since the tendency to move towards right. So here is the normal reaction which is perpendicular to the contact surface. Uh, this is R. R is the resultant of limiting friction and the normal reaction. R makes an angle phi with the normal reaction. This angle is called angle of friction. That is, the angle of friction is the angle between the normal reaction and the resultant of limiting friction and the normal reaction. Now suppose if you are keeping the body in an inclined plane, the inclination of the plane itself will be the angle of friction. Uh, from this triangle, you can see that this is the resultant. Here it is a normal reaction. Here is the limiting friction. So from this triangle, you can write as tan phi is equal to limiting friction divided by normal reaction. So limiting friction is mu r n divided by normal reaction r n will get mu. Mu is equal to tan phi. And uh, angle of repose. Angle of repose is the maximum angle of inclination of the plane at which the body remains in equilibrium under the action of friction only. That means no external force. No external force is there. Okay. That means you inclined surface or certain inclination of surface or body keep it. Hmm? But gradually, inclination of the plane and increase in the decay. Certain position can be made in the body, inclined to plane in the body, in the way it is moving down or sliding down. Okay. At certain position, let them borrow the inclination. A inclination for the pair angle of repose. A angle very, a body, a body equilibrium to litigate. External force of the tila, friction carna, mathram. A inclination the rim, a body of the rust chia. That angle is called angle of repose. Other angle of friction than yana. That is why angle of repose is equal to angle of friction. So, angle of repose for different materials are different depending upon the angle of friction. So, let us see the laws of dry friction. As I told you, uh, the first case is. Uh, the frictional force is always opposite to the tendency to move or motion of the body. Not the applied force. Applied force against Allah always opposite to the tendency to move. Frictional force is always opposite to, to the tendency to move or motion. Okay. Then, uh, second one is about the limiting friction. Limiting friction I think is the maximum. When the body is on the point of motion, the force of friction is maximum and known as force of 
ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഓർ ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അതായിരിക്കുള്ളൂ മാക്സിമം അപ് ടു ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഫ്രിക്ഷണൽ ഫോഴ്സ് ഒക്കറിങ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു അപ്ലൈഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ എത്തുന്നിടം വരെ ഞാൻ എത്ര ഫോഴ്സ് ആണോ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും ഫ്രിക്ഷണൽ ഫോഴ്സ് ആ സർഫസിൽ ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതും ദൻ ഫോർത്ത് വൺ എഫ് എൽ ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ബേസ് എ കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് റേഷ്യോ ടു ദ നോർമൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എഫ് എൽ ഈസ് ഡയറക്ട്ലി പ്രൊപ്പോർഷണൽ ടു ആർ എൻ സോ ദാറ്റ് പ്രൊപ്പോർഷണാലിറ്റി സൈൻ ചേഞ്ച് ബൈ എ കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എഫ് എൽ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ന്യൂ ആർ എൻ ആൻഡ് ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ഫോഴ്സ് or frictional force does not depends upon the shape or area of the surface of contact it depends only on the roughness now area depends cheyunnilla shape ne depend cheyunnilla depends only on the roughness of the surface so seventh one is the ratio between limiting friction and normal reaction is slightly less uh, when two surfaces are in motion these are the laws of dry frictions the consolidated uh, definitions are here or laws are here and the next is the cone of friction cone of friction uh, here you can see that the p is applied force so the tendency to move the body will be towards right limiting friction will be towards left here is the normal reaction here is a are resultant of normal reaction and limiting friction that is the resultant of limiting friction and normal reaction is always acting in the opposite side to the applied force suppose if we are rotating the applied force through 360 degree the resultant also will rotate three through 360 degree that is yan uh, e പിയെ ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രിയിൽ റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ അതിൻ്റെ ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് സൈഡിലായിരിക്കും ഇൻ്റെ റിസൾട്ടൻ്റും വരുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് റിസൾട്ടൻ്റ് ഓൾസോ വിൽ റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ത്രൂ ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഞാൻ റൈറ്റ് സൈഡിൽ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്തപ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ദ ടെൻഡൻസി ടു മൂവ് ദ ബോഡി ടുവേർഡ്സ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു സോ ദാറ്റ് റിസൾട്ടൻ്റും എന്തായി ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡിലായി സോ അപ്പോൾ മേക്ക് ചെയ്ത ആംഗിളാണ് ഈ ഫൈവ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ അപ്ലൈ ദി if we are rotating the applied force through 360 degree the resultant also will rotate through 360 degree and forms a cone then the specialty of cone is the resultant is the generator of the cone and rn is the axis of cone this angle of friction phi is the semi cone angle and mu r n is the radius okay uh, this is the speciality of cone of friction so we can define uh, the resultant of limiting friction and normal reaction will be in the opposite side to the applied force or motion when the applied force is rotating through 360 degree the resultant also will rotate through 360 degree uh, forms a cone with the base radius as limiting friction axis as normal reaction semi cone angle as the angle of friction and generator as cone of co, uh, sorry generator of cone as the resultant of normal reaction and the limiting friction so this is about cone of friction thank you for watching this video